welcome to civil engineering online subject design of precious concrete structures today's video is on module 4 design of sections for shear topic will be in this video is design of shear reinforcement using is 1343 1980 i am here your video tutorial ravi b tilaganchi continuing with the video design of shear reinforcements so design of shear reinforcements worldwide they have their own codes of the continent such as indian continent is having their own british continent is having their own european continent is having their own american continent is having their own canadian continent is having their own so like that the different shear reinforcement designing codes are available so in this video i'll be able to do the discussion or the total details about the Indian code and British code here the American code I am not discussing in this part of video so let us begin so Indian code IS 1343-1980 British code BS 8110-1985 American code ACI 318-1989 beginning with Indian code IS 1343-1980 recommendations at any given section, the ultimate shear resistance VC of the concrete alone should be taken as the lesser of the values of VCW and VCF when V, the shear force due to the ultimate loads is lesser than VC, the shear force which can be carried by the concrete, minimum shear reinforcement should be provided in the form of stirrups such that SV is equals to ASV 0.87 FY divided by 0.4 times B where SV spacing of stirrups along the length of a member ASV total cross sectional area of stirrups legs effective in shear B breadth the of the member which for T, I and L beams should be taken as breadth of the rib BW FY characteristic strength of the stirrup reinforcement which shall not be taken greater than 415 Newton per mm square. If the shear force V is less than 0.5 VC and in a member of minor importance shear reinforcement need to be provided. This sentence means if shear force is less then 0.5 times of shear carried by concrete V means shear force coming by the external loads and VC means shear force carried by only the concrete not by the steel in this time the half of the shear force is carried by concrete and remaining half is carried by steel if the shear force whatever we are calculating that is less than 0.5 times the concrete shear force carrying then we need not require the shear reinforcement when V exceeds VC means shear force exceeds shear carried by concrete shear reinforcement is required confirming to the relation as VC is equals to ASV 0.87 FY DT by V minus VC where depth equals to depth from the extreme compression fiber DT to the longitudinal bars or to the centroid of tendons whichever is greater. The spacing of syrup should exceed neither 0.75 times dt nor 4 times the web thickness of for flanged members when v exceeds 1.8 times vc the maximum spacing should be reduced to 0.5 times dt the lateral spacing of the individual legs of the stirrups provided at a cross section should not exceed 0.75 times dt the maximum shear stress permissible for different grades of concrete are shown in below table. If nominal shear stress V divided by BD exceeds these values, the section has to be redesigned 
so this is the table from the is 1343 maximum shear stress as table number 7 in 1343 so concrete grade and maximum shear stress newton per mm square wherein it starts from m30 to m55 and over m55 grade so maximum is as 3.5 this type of maximum shear stress also we have seen in is 1456 design of plain and reinforced concrete structures british code bs 8110 1985 recommendations according to the british code recommendations shear reinforcements are not required where v is less than 0.5 times vc and in members of minor importance when the shear force v is not greater than vc plus 0.4 times bwd shear reinforcements are designed at a spacing sv is given by sv is equals to asv 0.87 fy divided by 0.4 times bw when shear force v is greater than vc plus 0.4 times bw dt shear force are designed at a spacing sv is given by SV is equals to ASV 0.87 FY DT divided by V minus VC. The specifications regarding spacing are similar to those of IS code. The maximum design shear stress should not exceed 0.8 times square root of FCU or 5 Newton per mm square, whichever is lesser. If it exceeds, the section should be redesigned. American code ACI. 318 1989 which is not discussed in this video lecture hope you all have understood the topic see you in the next topic numerical on shear design of precess members thank you for watching please like share and subscribe the channel and video thank you so much